Hi, I'm Dr. Witten. I'm a chiropractor, and today I'm going to compare and contrast the Chirp technology with the foam roller. I got the Chirp a few weeks ago, and I've been playing around with it, and I've discovered that there are some things that the Chirp can do that a foam roller can't, and vice versa, there's things that you can do with the foam roller that you can't do with the Chirp. So. I'm going to go into that a little bit. Please watch the video to the end. I'm going to show you an exercise that I discovered. I didn't find it in any other chirp videos and it's done wonders for my low back. So watch to the very end and I'll show you that exercise. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And here we go. So when you watch videos about chirp, what you'll see is people use it for rolling out their back for getting pops in their back. And it's great for that. There's actually three sizes of chirp. You, you can use them for people who are less flexible, more flexible, larger people, smaller people. Um, let me first show you what a foam roller is used for. They use it for the same thing, for rolling out the back. But with the chirp, you have a groove down the middle so you actually get quite a bit more pressure on the paraspinal muscles. You get a stronger release in the, in the thoracic spine when you do that. With the foam roller, you're limited to the mid-back region. If you go up too high, the foam roller slides out. If you go too low, you fall back. And with the chirp, you can go a lot farther down the spine. Uh, with the foam roller, however, you can work the rotator cuff, you can work the tensor fascia lata on the sides of the leg, you can work the hamstrings and the quadriceps. You can also work on muscle spasms or tightness in the glutes. So it's very versatile in that way. You can also lay on it lengthwise and get a nice stretch on your chest and you can also lay your head off the end and get a nice extension but you can do that just by laying your head off your bed as well so with the chirp it puts your back into a much greater state of extension the problem most people have is that they're sitting at a desk with a head forward posture and their upper back gets rounded their shoulders roll forward and with the chirp, you can put your back into a much greater state of extension. And when you do an opening with your chest, you can get a much greater extension position, which is really the problem with posture today and people's shoulders slumping forward. Also with the smaller chirp, you can work the neck. With the foam roller, you can't really roll the neck, but you can with the chirp. So there's lots of different things you can do with the foam roller. But with the chirp, you're dealing with two of the major problems which we have in society is shoulder forward posture. And so you can get a profound uh, extension position with the chirp and stretch out the upper back as well as the chest. But now I want to show you what you can do with the chirp that you can't do with the foam roller. If you go all the way down the spine with the chirp and let your back fall on the floor and let your legs hang you get a profound stretch in your low back most people have tight psoas muscles and that's the cause of many low back pains so in this position i get a profound stretch on my psoas muscle which has been incredibly beneficial to my low back because it's been caused by my tight psoas muscles. I actually sometimes get a pop in my lower lumbar and sacrum area in this position. You just can't get that with the foam roller. So those are the major differences I've discovered with the chirp and the foam roller. Really, my recommendation is to have both. They're both pretty compact. The foam roller just stands up in a corner of your room. Chirp is very small and compact, much better than these giant exercise balls that take up a lot of space so they're wonderful tools you can do different things with them so give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video and leave any questions in the comments below um, if you're interested in getting 
a chirp we have the link in the description below and uh, we'll see you next time